What's up everyone? It's me CN Tsukaima and welcome to CN Figures! Figures in your house. And for this tour of you, we're going to look at the Marvel Legends 2024 X-Men 97 Goblin Queen. Oh man, this figure is a beauty. I can tell they done an amazing job with her hairstyle. All that is very good. You can see the figure inside this package with all the accessories that she comes with. And also around the front, we get a picture of the character. And right there in the bottom, there's her name. X-Men 97 right there in the top, longer with Marvel Studios. And right there in the corner, we get a picture of the X-Men characters. And there's nothing in both top and bottom, and also in both sides. But in the back side, we get a picture of the figure looking very great. And you can see there's more figures in the set that you guys can collect. And you can see there's the X-Men logo right there in the corner. Marvel Legends right there in the top. And again, we see the name of the character. Alright, so enough chatting. Let's take her out. And here's the figure out of her box. And she's not really posable because every time I keep her standing, she kind of falls down many times. Maybe because of her cape. I think her cape has a little bit of weight because I keep her standing, she falls down on her back. So maybe the cape does has a little bit of weight. And I see that they reuse the exact same body mold, just like the other female Marvel Legends that I reviewed before. But the only difference is I think they make the legs a little bit taller, but everything else is the same. Even they reuse the body, but I do love her paints. Her paints came out very beautiful. For Goblin Queen, we get a pair of RNG effects for her hands. And these pieces came out very good. I really love the green paint that he has in each one of them. And you can see that each one of them has a little bit of detail around the tip. And these effects, you can open them. So you can put it on her hand, you see? You can open them in each one. And I can feel a little bit of spikiness. You know, like tiny sculpting all around each one. She also comes with baby Cable. My brother told me that this baby is Cable. But don't you think it feels kind of strange adding a baby as an accessory? As for me, it is. But either way, I do like the yellow paint that he has all around his blanket. And you can see right there in the back, they added a bunch of good sculpting and with some texture all around there. And not bad with it done right here in the top. And you can see right here in the front, they added a little bit of white faded color that you, you guys can see right there. Like these little white circles all around. And look at the sculpting right here in the front. Very good, but the baby looks kind of funny. Like, look at his cheeks. They're kind of, um, kind of big. Well, I don't know why they added some, oh, never mind. For a moment, I thought they added some black color on the eyes in each one, but no. You guys can see, he doesn't have black eyes, but still, we cannot tell what color eyes he has. And you can see they added a little bit of light color for his hair and also on the eyebrows. And like the sculpting he has right there on the top. But the shoelace added a little bit of articulation only for the head. But you see it doesn't have no articulation but still it's kind of strange. And we get two pairs of hands. Open hands and fist hands. But these I already seen them before. But... I do like the light color skin that each one has all around. And each one of them has a little bit of black color right there. And you can see right there in the open hands has a little bit of black color around the nail. Okay, that looks very nice. And you can see right there in the open hand, it does has a little bit of work. And same thing for the fist hands. And here's the figure again. And wow. The light skin that she has on her skin is 
very beautiful and a little bit brighter all around, and especially on her face. You can see they added a little bit darker color on her lips, on her eyebrows, and well, on her lips, well, the paints on her lips, they look very clean, and her nose came out very really good, and they added a little bit of black color around the eyes, where it's the white color, and you can see they added a little bit of green color in each eye all around. And it's very sculpted, her face, especially on her lips. And it's very soft around her cheeks. But take a good look at her hairstyle. Uh, look at that. The sculpting is very good. And especially the color that she has right there is very unique. Look at it. Look at this nice work that it has right here in the top, and also right here in the tips, and it's also kind of brush all around. And wow, I think I'm starting to love the hairstyle because it does has very good work, and also right there in the top. And we do get a little bit of detail line right there in the top of her hair. But I cannot stop loving the color of her skin. We also get a little bit around her, well, her chest. But they make her chest kind of big. And in my opinion, they also made it a little bit, um, I don't know, kind of wrong there. But that's my opinion that I have for this figure. I don't know what's that she has on her cape. It looks some type of flower design, but you can see right there on her cave, they added some nice work there, like these lines that you guys can see all around there, and there's really nothing around her neck, but they added this darker color red right there in the inside of her cape, and you can see right there in the tip, they added some little bit of rips all around there, and wow. I can feel softness around her cape, but it doesn't have not a single texture around there. But I can tell that the paints are very clean. And well, there's really not a lot around on the back of her cape, but you can see some nice work all around there. And you can move her cape just a little bit and bend the edges right there. Even they reuse the body mode. You can see the, they made it a little bit big, but they added a little bit of muscles right there on her waist. Look at that. Okay, they done, they done a pretty good job right here on her waist. But the least added some texture right there, but no. We only get this black color around there with some detail on her of her outfit. And you can see more Design right there on her back with some more muscles right there. Whoa, look in the back. All that is very cool. There's really not a lot to talk about her sleeves on her arms. Like, there's no wrinkles or anything all around. Just this black color on her sleeves. That's pretty much it. But I really love the added this nice black color for her nails. And you can move her fingers, like bend them just a little bit. And I believe the color of her skin, I think, is light pink. That's how I see it, but I think it is light pink. And you can see a little bit detail right there on the bottom of her waist. And I can feel some sculpting right there on her legs. Well, at least they added a little bit of muscles right there on her legs. But not right here in the bottom. There's really not a single muscles at all. And like I said in the beginning of the video that this figure is not really possible because look at her heels. They made it kind of like skinny. You see? This doesn't even stand up and plus with the way that her cape is. Yeah, I don't think you can post this figure because of her heels and because of her cape. But still, I like the work that they've done right there on her boots. And... Well, it doesn't have not a single detail or anything around. Oh, never mind. It does have like a little bit of detail right there in both of them. 
in both sides all around and you can bend the heel just a little bit that's pretty much it I don't know what type of material they use to make her hair I know it's all sculpted but I also feel kind of plastic all around her hair but I forgot to show you like right here in the front has some nice sculpting of her hair in some of these parts around her hair you can bend them like around here and also here but I'm still having a lot of thoughts on her chest like they made it kind of big in my opinion it looks kind of wrong but they did add a little bit sculpting around her chest and I can feel some brushing right there where her skin color is all right now let's get on with her articulation you can move her head side to side a complete rotation she does look down a lot but not up and she does have this little joint right there on her hair on her on her head you can open her arms this much but no butterfly joint but you can rotate them in each one and with some bicep swivel and we do get some double jointed right there some wrist articulation some bibbit and we get and we do get a little bit of ball joint right there on the torso you can move it and you can bend it back and forth but not in the waist you can open her legs this much kick a lot in the front and not in the back but we do get some rotation around here in this part of her legs double jointed knee right there and some ankle articulation comparing size but first let's see how tall this figure stands and it's gonna be a little bit tricky because of the heels that she has on her boots so I don't know what's her original size she stands just exactly a little bit of six and a half inches tall here she is with my green ranger figure and you can see that she's taller than her here she is with my marvel legends dazzler and you can see that these two ladies they stand the exact same height but i'm not sure that's her actual height because she's wearing heels and she's wearing skates so i'm not sure if that's their actual hike here she is with my apex legends lopa and you can see that goblin queen stands much taller than her here she is with my marvel legends justice and you can see that goblin queen stands a little bit taller than him and these were the best pickups that i bought at gamestop i bought these two figures in my local gamestop you guys can check out that toy hunt right now. And here she is with my fair mother, Celeste Thanos. And there you have it, guys. And they have done a wonderful job with her hair, especially the color she has right there. And I really love the light color pink they use for her skin. And I don't know what else to say about this figure, but it came out very good. And my brother told me that this one is an evil clone of Jean Grey. That's something that I did not knew about. But still, this figure is very nice. Alright guys, that's all for today. So thank you for watching today's review. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead. Be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And please follow my Facebook page, Seeing Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. So take care, be safe, keep on hunting, and keep on collecting. And I'll see you next time. This is Sukaima and Goblin Queen. And we're out in line.